Is this thing on? <gasps> Hi, you guys. Oh my gosh. I haven't made a video in so long. I'm very excited to be back on here. If you hear noises in the background, it is my dogs. Um, on a side note, I actually wear prescription glasses every single day, but I don't wear them in videos usually because of the crazy glare. So I'm probably gonna take these off. Um, but I'm so excited. Little life update. I am still working in public health. Um, but I, I get comments and questions all the time on my correctional nursing video and that's awesome. And I just want to kind of give you guys some more tips and things that you guys should probably know before going into corrections if that is something that you want to do. Just a couple of those must have, must know tips to kind of start you off on the right foot when you go into that type of work. I'm going to try not to have to edit too much of this video. So uh, let's hope for the best. Hopefully I don't say um and like 40,000 times, but I typically do. So let's get started, everybody. What you must know before working as a correctional nurse. These are just four or five tips that I have that I have been thinking about. And I think they're very, very important. Number one, you can totally go into correctional nursing as a new grad if you want to, but you need to prepare for these things, okay? Number one, you are gonna be working as almost like an EMT. When it comes down to those emergency situations, you know, you're not gonna have um, a code button and a team comes running up to help you. It's not gonna be like that. As far as I know, in a lot of facilities, it's like one or two nurses per area per yard per facility you kind of need to brush up on walking into a scene or walking onto a scene not having any idea what's going on you need to know if this detainee hit their head you need to ask them the orientation questions things like that you need to know how to apply a c-spine all that type of thing you need to brush up on that knowledge because you may be alone for a while before either 911 arrives or before you know the other nurse in the facility arrives if they're coming from a separate yard. So those are um, important skills that you need to know. Learn how to assess a scene and assess a patient or a detainee without much equipment and without much help. You have to be able to do that stuff on your own at least for a little bit before help arrives. Number two, just to add on to that, all of these emergency situations in my facility, they were called ICS, like incident commander system, something like that. All of these situations are recorded. As soon as they call ICS on the radio, it is going to be recorded. So this is another reason why you wanna make sure you brush up and you do things properly. A lot of the time, if there's an incident and the jurisdiction or the detainee's lawyer or somebody wants access to that footage, you wanna make sure that obviously you're doing all of the proper things that you needed to be doing with your license, because that can be at risk, which is one of the things I'm gonna talk about. Okay, another thing to attach onto this. Anything that you do in this facility, anything that you do, anytime you see a detainee or inmate for sick call, that's my dog, still mind me. I had to put them outside so they had to go to the bathroom. Okay, don't hate me. Um, anytime you do anything with the detainee, you need to make sure that you chart this. If you don't chart something, it didn't happen. That's something that you already know. But the thing is, you're working with a different population now and they it's your word against theirs. So they can say, oh, you never did this thing, you never saw them, you never did that and the other. And if there's no one there to witness it for you um, and you didn't chart it, then, I mean, yes, they're always with an officer who can probably, you know, be your witness, but you just want to see why A. C why C why C Y A. Anyways, you want to cover your arse because your license is at risk. You're going to be probably one of the highest licensed people in this facility. So a lot of responsibility is on you. So remember that. And then this kind of goes into the last thing that I was going to mention. Protect your license at all costs especially if you are a new grad going into this type of facility, or if you are a new grad and you wanna be in corrections for the rest of your life, you don't wanna lose your license barely starting out. And the thing is, they may not even be asking you in a vindictive way. They may not even know that it's risking your license. So you need to make sure that you are educated and that you know 
um, you're gonna know if something feels off or like you shouldn't do it or whatever, that's your gut instinct telling you not to do it. You know what you should and shouldn't do. So if somebody asks you to do something that you're not sure about, hold on because you know, don't rush into doing something that could risk your license because it's not worth it. A lot of people that I worked with had, um, had malpractice insurance. So I think that's another thing I wanna add that you guys should think about getting. A lot of nurses have it anyways, but especially if you're gonna be working in a correctional setting. These are my dogs, these are my daughters. This is Ava Liberty. I love them. So those are just some need to know, need to know, need to knows, okay? So any other questions or anything, you guys, I am much better at responding on my Instagram. If you wanna follow me, my Instagram handle is Cat with three T's and a K. Does that make sense? A-L-L-I-K-A-T-T-T. -T -T. That is my Instagram. I'm going to put it down below if you guys are curious. Um, much better at responding on there if you want like a quick response. I do try my best to respond on YouTube, but I forget sometimes, so hit me up on my Insta. I'm also thinking about making a video on surviving night shift because I worked nights in my correctional facility for a year. So if you guys are interested in a video like that, leave it in the comment. If you guys have any other videos you'd like me to make, let me know. I'm all ears. I love making videos. I know I make them very few and far between, but every time I do it, I'm like, I love this. I love this, I love this. So anyways, guys, it was nice chatting with you. Good luck with everything and Remember, my motto is do what makes you happy. You know what, you worked hard in school, you got the license, now you might as well do what you want. I think you could pretty much go into anything as a new grad. Some things are gonna be a lot easier, some things are gonna be a lot more challenging. Just prepare yourself well for whatever type of work you're going into, okay? Do your research, listen to other people. You know, that's my, that's my two cents, so. If you can get some bedside experience, do that, but y'all know how I feel about the bedside, okay. Anyways, y'all have a great night, and I will chat with you another time. Bye. P, 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 S, P, S, P, 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 S. I would like to mention, if you guys are interested in any of my makeup, if you, if you have any questions about that, I'm actually gonna make a video on the makeup I'm wearing. It is Saint, S-E-I-N-T. So, yeah, if you guys like it and you want to see a video of me applying it, go ahead and watch that video. If it's not uploaded, it's going to be uploaded. I just filmed it. So, anyways, talk to you guys later.